Morvedra also known as Mataro or Monastrel is a red wine grape variety that is grown in many regions around the world including the Rhone and Provence regions of France, the Valencia and Jumilla denominaciones de origin of Spain, as well as the Balearic Islands, California and Washington State and the Australian regions of South Australia and New South Wales, as well as South Africa. In addition to making red varietal wines, Morvedra is a prominent component in GSM. Grenache, Syrah, and Morvedra blends. The variety is also used to make rosé and port style fortified wines. Morvedra tends to produce tannic wines that can be high in alcohol. The style of wine produced from the grapes varies greatly according to where it is produced, but according to wine expert Jancis Robinson, Morvedra wines often have wild game, or earthy notes to them, with soft red fruit flavors. According to wine expert Oz Clark, young Morvedra can come across as faulted due to the reductive, sulfur notes and farmyard Y flavors that some wines can exhibit before those flavors mellow with age. The variety can be a difficult grape to grow, preferring its face in the hot sun and its feet in the water, meaning that it needs very warm weather, a low leaf to fruit ratio, but adequate water or irrigation to produce intensely flavored fruit that is not overly jammy or herbaceous. The vine's susceptibility to many viticultural hazards such as powdery and downy mildew as well as overly vigorous foliage can present additional problems for vine growers. History Most wine historians agree that Morvedra is likely to be Spanish in origin, though its exact history is difficult to pinpoint. The variety was probably introduced to Valencia by the Phoenicians around 500 BC. The French adapted name Morvedra probably came from Merviedro Morvedra in Valenciano, nowadays Sagant near Valencia while the Spanish name Mataro is thought to have come from Mataro, Catalonia near the modern-day city of Barcelona. Despite this close association with Merviedro and Mataro, the grape became known in Spain as Monastrel for reasons that are still unknown though Oz Clark speculates that a neutral Name may have been chosen so as not to offend the local pride of both regions. Morvedra had a well established presence in Roussillon region of France by at least the 16th century when still part of Spain until 1659, where it spread eastwards towards Provence and the Rhone. There it had a well established foothold until the phylloxera epidemic of the mid to late 19th century decimated plantings. As the French and other European wine regions recovered from the phylloxera scourge by grafting Vitus vinifera varieties to American rootstock, it was discovered that Morvedra vines did not take well to the grafting and many vineyards were replanted with other varieties. Morvedra arrived in California in the 1860s as part of the Pellier collection. The variety, known as Mataro, was used primarily for bulk produced jug wines. In the late 20th century, interest in Morvedra as a premium grape variety picked up as the Rhone Rangers began seeking out old vine plantings of the variety in Contra Costa County vineyards. In the 1990s, critically acclaimed bottlings from Bonnie Dune Vineyard and Klein Cellars Winery promoted demand in the variety and by the mid-2000s, plantings of Morvedra in California had risen to 260 hectares 650 acres. .In Australia, the variety known there as Mataro has had a long history in the country with plantings dating back to the mid-19th century. In the 1980s, many of these old vine plantings were uprooted in a government-sponsored vine pulling scheme but some still survive and are producing today. While historically the variety was used mainly as an anonymous blending grape in fortified wines, the variety saw a rise in interest in the 1990s as producers started receiving acclaim for GSM Grenache, Syrah, and Morvedra blends many from the surviving, low-yield old vine plantings. With a slight increase in planting there were more than 1,000 hectares of Mataro in Australia by the mid-2000s, it has been put forward by ampelographists that Morvedra may be the parent to the esteemed grape Mavrid, or that at least Mavrid is a clone of Morvedra, imported into Bulgaria by the Romans. <laughs> Viticulture According to ampelographer Pierre Gallet, Morvedra thrives in warm climates as the variety has a tendency to both bud and ripen very late. While the variety can recover well from late spring frost due to the late budding, it can be very temperature sensitive throughout its growing season with even low winter temperatures affecting its dormancy. 
Though the grape can adapt to a variety of vineyard soil types, the most ideal sites are very warm, south-facing northern hemisphere slopes with shallow, clay soils that can retain the necessary moisture to keep the vine's feet wet without letting it grow its foliage too vigorously. In addition to a warm climate, Morvedra also does best in a dry climate with sufficient wind to protect it from the viticultural hazards of powdery mildew and downy mildew. The grape clusters of Morvedra are relatively compact, enhancing its susceptibility to mildew, with small thick-skinned berries that are high in both color and flavor phenolics, particularly tannins. Even though the variety ripens late, it has the potential to ripen to high brix sugar levels which can translate into a high alcohol level during fermentation. The vine can also be very vigorous, producing abundant foliage that can shade the grape clusters, affecting canopy management decisions for growers. In Australia and California, many of the oldest plantings of Morvedra are bush train as the vines grows well vertically, but the variety can be grown under many different kinds of vine training systems. The harvest window for the grape tends to be very short once it reaches peak ripeness, with acidity rapidly falling and the grapes soon desiccating and developing prune y flavors. One advantage of the thick skins is that Morvedra can withstand late harvest rains without the berries swelling and bursting like thinner skin varieties such as Grenache. In regions such as the Paso Robles Ava of California, it is often one of the last varieties to be harvested sometimes hanging onto the vine until early November. Morvedra produces medium-size, compact bunches that are usually conical in shape with a small wing cluster that may be discarded during green harvesting. The leaves often have truncate cuneiform wedge. Shape. Since World War II, newer clones and better rootstock have been developed that have allowed Morvedra vines to be grafted more easily. Today many plantings of Morvedra are to 110R and 41B rootstocks. <inaudible> <inaudible> Wine regions In Spain, Morvedra where the grape is known as Monastrel was the fourth most widely planted red wine grape variety at the turn of the 21st century with around 63,000 hectares acres in 2004. Like many other Spanish varieties, its numbers have been declining in recent years in 1996 there was over 100,000 hectares, 250,000 of the vine planted in Spain as growers pull up older plantings and replant them with popular international varieties such as Cabernet Sauvignon and Chardonnay. However, the variety still has a strong hold in eastern Spain where it is widely planted in several Spanish wine regions around Murcia and the Valencian community. Under Spanish wine law, Monastrel is one of the primary red wine grape varieties in the Dos of Jamila, Yecla, Valencia, Almansa, and Alicante. Other Spanish Dos where Monastrel is a permitted variety include Binisalem Mallorca and Pla I Levant in the Balearic Islands, Bulas, Catalunya, Cariñena, Costas del Segre, Manchuela, Penedes, and Ribera del Guadiana. Morvedra is even permitted in the white sparkling wine cava, though it is rarely used. In France, Morvedra doesn't grow much farther north than the Chateauneuf du Pape AOC in the southern Rhone, and even there has some trouble ripening in cooler vintages. It tends to ripen most consistently in the warmer Provençal region of Bandel AOC along the Mediterranean coast, where the growing season is often 5 degrees Celsius warmer. While plantings have been declining in Spain, they have been increasing in France, particularly in the Languedoc Roussillon region, where the grape variety has seen growing popularity as both a varietal wine and as a blending component. After the phylloxera epidemic of the late 19th century and with declining interest in the variety for most of the 20th century, there were less than 900 hectares in 1968, mostly in the southern Rhone and the Bandel AOC of Provence. But the spark of interest and international investment in the Languedoc saw planting sharply increase and by 2000 there were over 7,600 hectares of Morvedra planted throughout southern France. While Bandel is the AOC region that most prominent features Morvedra by law all red Bandels must contain at least 50% Morvedra, other appellation d'origine controle AOC s that has Morvedra as a permitted variety include Cassis, Collier, Corbiers, Costiers de Nimes, Coteau d'Aix en Provence, Coteau du Languedoc, Coteau de Pierrevert, Coteau Varua, Côtes du Luberon, Coteau du Tricastin, Côtes de Provence, Côtes du Rhône, Côtes du Rhône villages, Côtes du Roussillon, Côtes du Roussillon villages, Côtes du Ventu, Faugers, Fatou, Palette, Saint-Chinian, Gigandas, Lirac, Minervois and Vaquaras. 
In Chateauneuf du Pape, it is one of the 18 permitted varieties in the red wine but is often a secondary component behind Grenache and Syrah. The exceptions are notable blends from producers such as Chateau de Beaucastel, which often has Morvedra account for more than a third of the blend. As of 2009, Morvedra accounted for 6.6% hectares of all Chateauneuf du Pape plantings. Topic: <laughs> New World. In the United States, Morvedra is found primarily in California and Washington state with some limited plantings in Arizona, Missouri, Texas and Virginia. In the U.S., the style of Morvedra tends to be less tannic than Old World examples such as Bandles. In Washington state, the grape was first planted at Red Willow Vineyard in the Yakima Valley Ava in 1983. The 1990s and 2000s saw an increase of plantings of the variety, most notably at Alder Ridge Vineyard and Destiny Ridge Vineyard in the Horse Heaven Hills Ava and Seal du Cheval Vineyard in the Red Mountain Ava. In Washington, the grape is used in both varietal and Rhone-style blends where it provides a medium body structure with cherry fruit flavors as well smoky, spicy and gamey notes. In California, Morvedra reached the United States in the 1860s as part of the Pellier collection and was likely first planted in Santa Clara County. The variety, known as Mataro, was widely planted in anonymous field blends that was used primarily for bulk-produced jug wines. From the middle of the 20th century, it saw its plantings rapidly decline from more than 2,700 acres in 1968 to less than a third of that by the 2000s. Its numbers would have declined more drastically had the variety not captured the interest of Rhone Rangers in the late 20th century who began seeking out old vine plantings of the variety in vineyards Contra Costa County. On the heels of some critically acclaimed varietal and Rhone style blends, as well as the introduction of better quality clones featuring Morvedra plantings in California, risen slightly from 260 hectares (650 acres) at the turn of the 21st century to 900 acres in 2010, there are around 12 square kilometers of Morvedra in Australia, where it is also known as Mataro, though more producers have begun adopting the French name Morvedra. While the grape has a long history of being used for generic cask wines and fortified wine, it has recently become more popular in highly acclaimed GSM blends with Grenache and Syrah. Like many grape varieties, Morvedra was first introduced to Australia as part of James Busby's collection of cuttings from his European travels in the 1830s. There it was quickly established in the South Australia wine region of the Barossa Valley by Lutheran immigrants from the Silesia province in Prussia. From there it was spread by English immigrants to the McLaren Vale region south of Adelaide. Some of the oldest continually producing vines of Morvedra are in the New South Wales wine region of Riverina or South Australian wine region of Riverland. Turkey Flat Vineyards in the Barossa Valley was one of the forerunners of producing Morvedra as a single varietal wine with its first vintage in 2005. Other regions. According to Pierre Gallet, there are some plantings of Morvedra in Azerbaijan under a variety of synonyms that have not all been fully identified. In South Africa, Rhone-style producers have also begun working with the variety. <laughs> <laughs> Winemaking and wine styles The small, thick skin berries of Morvedra are high in phenolic compounds that have the potential to produce a deeply colored, very tannic wine with significant alcohol levels if harvested at high sugar levels. However, the variety is rarely harvested at sugar levels below 13% alcohol approximately 23 bricks because the flavors at those lower levels are often very weak and herbaceous. In winemaking, wines made from Morvedra are prone to both oxidation and reductive flavors such as hydrogen sulfide if care is not taken at the winery. While in Bandel, it is common to ferment Morvedra with the stems. The grapes usually go through a crusher, destemmer in New World regions such as a California due to the harsher, green tannins that are more typical of the stems in those regions. While the wine can be stored in oak barrels, it often does not absorb oak flavors as well as other varieties such as Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon so it is often stored in neutral oak or large format barrels. In many regions of the world, Morvedra is often blended with other varieties such as Grenache and Syrah in the GSM blends of Rhone, Australia and the United States. 
In these blends, Morvedra often provides color, fruit and some tannic structure to complement the fruity Grenache and elegant Syrah. In Provence and Rhone it also sometimes blended with Sinsol and Carignan as part of both red table wines and rosé. In Australia, the variety is sometimes used in fortified port style wines. According to wine expert Jancis Robinson, in favorable vintages, Morvedra can produce highly perfumed wines with intense fruit flavors and notes of blackberries and gamey or meaty flavors. Oz Clark notes that some examples of Morvedra may come across as faulted in their youth with farmyard wine and strong herbal flavors. As the wine ages, more earthy tertiary aromas may develop before becoming more leather and gingerbread aroma notes. In both Old and New World wine regions, Morvedra is a popular grape to be used in rose winemaking. These wines can be made as a dedicated rose where the skins are allowed only a brief period of skin contact a few hours or a single day before they are pressed or a saigne where some of the juice destined for a red Morvedra is bled off during fermentation creating two separate wines a darker, more concentrated red wine and the lighter rosé. Synonyms and relationship to other grapes Morvedra is the name used in France. Worldwide, there are 95 other names, including Mataro, which is used in Portugal and parts of the New World, and Monastrel, which is used in Spain. In English-speaking wine-producing areas, Morvedra is most commonly used, it is the official name used by the U.S. Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau. Despite the similarities of its synonyms, Morvedra has no relation to the Spanish wine grape Graciano which is also known as Morostel in France. At one point, the cognac grape Balzac Blanc was thought to be a color mutation of Morvedra due to the similarities in synonyms with Morvedra also being known as Balzac Noir. However, DNA analysis at the turn of the 21st century showed that the two varieties had no relation. Despite having the synonym Rosso Lanera, Morvedra has no known relationship to the Lombardy wine grape of the same name with the latter being an offspring of the Piedmontese wine grape Nebbiolo. <laughs> <laughs> 